Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to uh, Python beginner tutorial series. So uh, in last video we just saw uh, how to install uh, Python on a, a Linux machine. Uh, in this video let's see how to install Python again from the source code directly. So to do that let me open a, a terminal here. I'll switch to root. So first we need to update the repositories. So before we proceed with actual uh, Python installation, we have to install a few essential libraries. Uh, so I'll, I'll paste this command in the description. You can just copy paste that and I'll put it here. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is installed. So uh, to install Python from source, we have uh, uh, two options. One uh, is opening the browser and downloading it directly from the site. So we can go to downloads here and uh, we see uh, the, the versions, the latest version is 3.8.5 and we can click on download and then download the file uh, directly. Or the other option uh, is to uh, uh, use wget to download it for us. So I will go to temp here. Again, I will put this <coughs> link in the description. Okay, the file is downloaded. The file is downloaded here. Now we have to extract this zip file. Okay, this is extracted. I will go to this directory. Uh, In this location, we have the source files. Now, first, we need to configure. Okay, this will take some time to complete. So uh, the configure is completed. Before continuing further, I'll switch to root user. Okay, configure is completed. Now we have to uh, run make uh, install. So here uh, we have to uh, consider a couple of things. Uh, if we uh, we have to run make alt install because there will be uh, Python 2 version 2 already installed which we uh, confirmed in the last uh, uh, video also. So most of the uh, Ubuntu system requires those uh, uh, re requires Python 2 to be running on the system that there are various dependencies so just to avoid uh, that we have to run make alt install so but, but still uh, if we are sure that we don't uh, need python 2 anymore then uh, uh, we can uh, run make install directly but it, it's always recommended to do make alt install
okay now python uh, 3 is installed so let's confirm that okay this is the version uh, which we installed uh, uh, through uh, apt so how to use the version which we installed from the source so as we know we installed python version 3.8 so to access that python 3.8 okay so we are able to see python 3.8 so whenever uh, we want this interpreter to be used to execute our program what we can do is just find where it is installed Okay, this is the location. So we we have to give this location uh, in the first line of the script so that uh, so that this interpreter is being used for the ex execution of that particular script. And if we want to enter uh, into the Python comma prompt of this version, we just enter here. So uh, with this, we have learned how to install Python through uh, different methods. So in the next session, let's, let's start with actual Python programming. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.